we move on, let me ask you what exactly, if I were to ask you what exactly inserts into the terminal tendon insertion, how would you answer that question? What, what in your mind's eye would contribute to tension at the terminal tendon insertion? Well, let's look at this more carefully. The terminal tendon insertion is the end of the dorsal apparatus. And it's a very simple answer. Any power that is distributed into the dorsal apparatus continues out to the terminal tendon insertion. Some power that is more direct, meaning via the lateral bands, provides more direct tension and other power, as we've discussed, is reduced because as it comes out to the terminal tendon insertion, it must go in an indirect path and it loses some power by doing that. The terminal tendon insertion is a rather thin and flat coalescence of tendon fibers that also, as we discussed, accept fibers from the oblique retinacular ligament on both sides. These fibers sit directly on the periosteum and for that reason it is very difficult if there is injury to this terminal tendon insertion to regain maximum, particularly proximal glide. Distal glide is fairly easy to regain because you have the very powerful flexor digitorum profundus flexing the DIP joint to create distal glide of the terminal tendon insertion. But proximal glide, as we know, is naturally a much weaker motion and it is also a very small amount of glide. So biomechanically it is very difficult to regain. <clears throat> 